Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this week's uh, spares idea is I got this storage cube from Poundland. As you can see, it is pretty big. Has a thing to push down inside and everything. I'm really looking forward to doing it. And um, I have had an idea of what to do. It's my friend's idea um one of the other admins from leftovers um yeah the facebook group i'm on she had the idea of getting a diamond paint uh, like a special shape one because i don't know about everyone else i just, i love doing the special shape ones but i never know what to do with them when i'm done uh, apart from like for example um jane sent, very kindly sent me some um sent me one which i've got hanging up on the wall um but like normally i just do not know what to do with them so I thought I will stick on a special shape onto the front and decorate it all up. So let's get cracking and let's see exactly what we can come up with. Because as you can see, this is really big. £1.50 this cost me from my local Poundland. I reckon like those of you who have Dollar Trees and all that, I reckon you should be able to get something like this as well because um, I see what you guys get in your Dollar Tree. I am jealous about stuff you guys get our pound land here is rubbish compared to that but yeah and as you can see compared to that one this is a lot bigger a heck of a lot a heck of a lot bigger than um you know the ones that we pay for the actual kit so yeah let's change angle and see exactly what we can get we can come up with okay So I've been trying to sit here racking my brain of what I can do with this. And I suddenly thought of an idea that my friend Noreen came out with. Um, she's the main admin on leftover leftover diamond leftover ideas and more uh, on Facebook. And basically like she came up with this idea of sticking one of your um diamond paintings to it which i thought was a really good idea at the time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this out so instead of a leftovers idea this is going to be a cheaper way of doing the canvas you know the the storage ones but cheaper because obviously those storage ones are about 10 pound i think if i remember rightly so we can do that at a fraction of the price so I'm going to cut this out, stick this on, and what I might do is just um, ling it up a little tiny bit more. But yeah, I'll do like a border or something around the edge of this. And I think that'll look really nice. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to bling, bling this up a little bit more and do that, out, I think. So I have stuck it on. I am going to stick a bit of fabric glue behind it as well, just to be on the safe side. Because that B, the B7000 does like to soak into the material pretty well. So just to be on the safe side, I pulled out my fabric glue and I will make sure it is even more stuck down with some of that. To be honest, it does feel like the old B7000 glue is holding up well. There we 
we go. And what I'll do, I'll use the, um, because the weather beast and fountain glue, it just let instantly soaks into the material. I'm going to use that, this instead, the fabric glue to stick down the drills. My storage box is done and it is, as you can see compared to me, it is really big. I'll get out the one that I actually bought as a kit. It's full of loads of stuff. So, that's the one I brought as a kit. I think it was about, roughly about £8. Something like that. And this is the one I paid £1.50 for. It's like a special shaped diamond painting on the front and then decorated all the edges so there's a heck of a size difference in everything as you can see so yeah if you want to do one of these storage storage containers on a budget i honestly do recommend this and yeah and obviously this is the old normal one so yeah this one's got a bit of a fake leather this has got like a fake leather feel to it this is just like a canvas type feel, but I would say for £1.50, stick your own on, do some spares and everything. I would, I'd say, you know, you do come up with something really nice, and it's a lot bigger as well. So yeah, and obviously with this one, it all comes as a kit and everything. So yeah, they do obviously have their pros and cons and everything. Let me put this one back in its hole. Obviously, with this one, it will obviously fit the queue perfectly. So, it honestly depends on what you want it for. So, yeah, so that is it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave me a big, leave me a big thumbs up if you haven't. Uh, leave me a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, you can't even see can you with this thing in the way. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and leave me a comment down below what you think of this week's spares idea. Thank you ever so much, Noreen, for giving me the inspiration to doing this. Um as I said before, my friend Noreen did come up with the idea of sticking a diamond painting onto these. Um yes, yeah, so I thought I'll do that and then just add some extras. I absolutely love how it's come out. And then to get all the um like half semicircles looking like more like symmetrical. I just use a lid of one of my drill pots. So yeah, really do love how it's come out. And I use my old B7000 glue to stick it all on. So yeah, really do indeed enjoy doing this. So thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you all next time. Bye everyone.